Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is WWE Raw pay-per-view. Great balls of fire predictions. Um, so here we go. The matches they have announced so far, there's a total of eight. Um, I believe that the Cruiserweight match is supposed to be the pre-show match according to what it is saying online. However, I don't know if that's true or not. But anyways, we're going to mark it as the pre-show for now. Anyways, we're going to get right into it. Neville versus Akira Tozawa for the Cruiserweight title on the pre-show in a singles match. And I think that I'm going to go for Neville. Um, I like Akira Tozawa, but I don't think it's his time to be champion just quite yet for the Cruiserweights. But moving on. It is an ambulance match between Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. And if I'm completely honest with you, I like the storyline. I like everything about the storyline. But I think it's kind of getting a little bit stale or kind of getting a little bit iffy at the point. Um, I think it's time to move on very soon. So I hope that this is the last match of the series. Um, but... Who knows? Anyways, I'm going for Braun Strowman. I think Braun Strowman more likely is going to win this one. But more likely, in a way, Roman probably will get the victory. And moving on, we have Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks for the women's title on Raw. And I'm going for Alexa Bliss. Um, Don't get me wrong, I do like Sasha Banks. But, um... The way that they had the number one contendership match, I don't really think it was very much fair for Nia because Nia did compete and beat four women and had to fight in five matches, might as well say. And she lost the last match, and of course that match was won by Sasha. But I'm not being rude. I don't think it was that very fair to Nia. But anyways, that's just my opinion. But again, I'm going for Alexa in that match. Moving on, you've got Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt in a singles match. I'm going for Seth Rollins. I've always kind of been a Seth Rollins fan. So, um, who knows? But anything can happen. WWE is unpredictable at some times. Moving on, we've got... Big Cass and Enzo Amore going one-on-one -on -one in a singles match. I'm going for Big Cass. Um, to be honest with you, I think I agree with a lot of the fans out there that this might be a one side of the thing. But who knows? I mean, Enzo surprised me on Monday Night Raw. And so anything can happen. But ultimately, I think it's going to be a great match. But who knows? Moving on, we've got Dean Ambrose versus The Miz for the Intercontinental title and another singles match. Again, um, much like the Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns thing, I think it's getting a little bit stale. It's time to move on. So I think that I'm going for Dean Ambrose, but The Miz is probably going to win. And in a way, I kind of hope he does. No disrespect to Dean. I am a huge Dean Ambrose fan. But I think that if The Miz wins, then it's time to move on and let someone else get a shot at the title and move Dean on to someone else. But moving on, we have another match that, again, is starting to get a little bit stale. But I think that ultimately we'll be doing a good, good match, ultimately. But it is the Tag Team Championship match between the Hardy Boys and Sheamus and Cesaro. And a 30-minute Iron Man match. And I think it's going to be a good match. Don't get me wrong. But again, it's really getting a little bit stale in a way. It's time to let someone else get shot. So I'm thinking Sheamus and Cesaro are going to win. But I'm going for the Hardy Boys. Um, and our final match that they have announced so far is the Beast versus Samoa Joe. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe for the Universal title. In a singles match, um, I'm going for Samoa Joe. He's been looking absolutely insanely amazing on Monday Night Raws. 
as of lately. Um, but I have to say that Brock's probably going to win, in my opinion, because I've heard some rumors of what things are going to happen down the line. I won't spoil any of them for you, but I did hear some rumors about Brock in the future and even Samoa Joe in the future. So I don't think that Samoa Joe is going to win the title. But anything can happen. WWE can throw curveballs at you at any time. Um, but before I end this video of the week out, there's some thing I really got to talk about. Um, I have decided to do every Wednesday on video of the weeks. Um, I'll be posting them on Mondays or possibly even Sundays after the video of the weeks on Sundays. A uh, picture with two competitors or wrestlers, and you guys will have to tell me who you think would win the match. Um, like this one I did, Paige and Daphne, and all you had to do was tell me who you think was going to win. And I posted them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and after that, then you guys will get a shout out once you tell me that who you think will win. Anyways. With that said, I gotta give the shout outs for this time to Dale Reichard and Reyna who told me who they thought was going to win between Daphne and Paige. Again, next Wednesday, you guys will be getting shout outs in the for the next one. But I'll be posting it a Sunday after the video of the week on this Sunday. So have a great day. Peace. And I hope you guys understand about the upcoming shout out options going forward. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you guys for watching.